Hi, I'm Dan Roth. I'm the executive editor of LinkedIn. Today we have with us Dave Kirpin, who is the co-founder and chairman of Likeable Media. Dave is one of LinkedIn's influencers, and his post, The 11 Simple Concepts to Become a Better Leader, is our top leadership post of 2013. The idea for your company is likability. Why do you think it's important to be likable? So we started with the concept of likability, but we realized the much bigger meaning of being likable, which is building a business, building a brand that customers like. Does that work also for leadership? Is it important as a leader to be likable? It's growingly important. Because of social media, because of how fast information travels now, if you're a jerk, it's not gonna work. And the leaders that can be authentic and transparent and really listen well, those are the leaders that will rise to the top and be respected. Well, that goes to your number one point, the idea of listening. And these two go together, listening and storytelling. So listening is the number one most important thing for leaders to get down. And it's a really hard one. But it turns out the more you talk, the less you can learn. Mm -hmm. And the more you can actually stop talking and just listen, you can actually learn from everyone around you. Uh, passion, storytelling, I know that's kind of the secret to the way you built your business. Yeah. Do you think that you can't be a leader today without having those uh, abilities to be able to tell the great stories, to be able to connect one-on-one -on -one with folks? Or is there a path for CEOs who might want to just send memos and stay in a closed office and tell people what to do? The CEO is the functional spokesperson of the organization internally and externally. Mm -hmm. And that person has to be somebody that can tell a story. Talk to me a little bit about one of your points, which is adaptability. One of the secrets to being a great leader is that you have to be very clear and transparent with where you're going. But if you also need to be adaptable, that means changing pretty frequently. How do you balance those two? You should absolutely communicate your roadmap. That said, not only should you be willing to adapt, but the very tenet of adaptability has to be something that's baked in so that everyone feels comfortable bringing up new ideas and when you need to start to change, rolling with the punches. Is there anyone that you would point to that you would say is a model for you or that you think others should, should learn about? For each quality, I have a model. For listening, Michael Dell is the best example of a corporate leader that is a great listener. I learned the value of gratefulness from my friend Carrie Chesick, the former CEO of Restaurant.com, who writes five thank you notes every single morning. And the power of the handwritten thank you card is actually twofold. First, in a really increasingly digital age, people really appreciate the fact that I took the time to handwrite a note. But the second unexpected result is that when I write a handwritten thank you note, the mindset that it puts me in is amazing. Just the process of writing a thank you note is, is good for, for the thank you note writer as much as it is for the, for the receiver. Which is why I, I highly recommend starting your morning with it because huh. sitting down and focusing only on gratefulness actually puts you in a better, more happy, more productive mindset for the rest of your day. And I can attest to the fact that I don't think we've ever had a conversation without getting a thank you note from you. So I've become that predictable, Dan, haven't I? I know. I wait by, after we talk, I wait by the mail to say, where is my, my Kirpin note? <laughs> uh, well, thanks for coming by. It was great, uh, great having you here for the chat today. Thanks for having me, Dan. And you know, if I can close with one, with one note about leadership in general, leadership is for everyone. We all have qualities inside us that help us become better leaders. Every single person on LinkedIn really, truly can become a better leader.